And here is where I realize that I need three hands to hold the camera, sustain the tree, and pour the soil. Hi, I'm Stefano, and welcome to Rikai Bonsai, where I document my journey into bonsai as I learn it from the ground up. A friend asked us to look after her dog over the weekend as we live close to some very nice parks. This is Momo-chan playing her favorite game, fetch the ball. And, well, here she is playing her second favorite game, jumping into the mud and digging around. Long story short, she ended up pulling out a couple of seedlings off the ground. And here I am trying to rescue them. According to my plant recognition app, the small one on the left is a Quercus pubescens, an oak of some type, I'm not sure about its English name, while the bigger one on the right is a Quercus roba, a royal oak. As you can see, there is almost nothing left of the original root system. The royal oak shows nice movement at the base, but the situation is quite desperate. Here I have prepared two recycled pots. The bigger one will contain the royal oak since it's a little bit older, while the small one will lose the younger. In order to stop the soil from escaping out of the drainage hole, I put a mesh that I 3D printed long ago in the left pot and just a regular mesh that was trimmed to measure in the other one. The plan is to use the few remaining soil for deciduous trees that I've got during my last visit at Aaron's Bonsai, which will hopefully do well for these two little fellas. My hope is to eventually get two healthy trees like this one, which is a one year and a half old royal oak that I grew from a seed also coming from Aaron's. I leave this one to grow free for the rest of the year, it should have plenty of space in this pot, and next year I'll see if it's time to cut its top root. The first part of the job is quite easy, as it just consists in filling up the pots halfway through their eight. Then I decided to use a piece of wire that was laying around to build a contraption that would help me stand the trees up while I plant them. Once my sophisticated planting device is deployed over the pot, I can finally reach for some soil and start adding it. Here I'm trying to put it from all the angles around the pot because I want the tree to stand upright and the weight of the soil to anchor it to the pot itself. Once the pouring is over, I gently tap the top surface because I want the soil to be firm into the pot and I'm afraid that this time I will have no chopsticks to use because there is simply no root system uh, in which to force the soils into. The procedure for the second plant is exactly the same. In this case, however, I've noticed that the younger tree had a much longer taproot, so I decided to plant it deeper into the pot. To do so, I just had to add less soil at the beginning put the tree in place with the planting device and then add more and more soil. In this case I needed two measures of soil but eventually even the second tree was sitting snug into its pot full of soil. And then of course it was time to give them the first water of their new life. And here we are one day into the future. The little one seems to be doing fine, while the big one is a little bit suffering. I really hope that both will survive as I plan to add them to my collection and possibly make a forest out of the three of them. I am Stefano, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.